Hello and welcome to day 21 of our 21 days of prayer and fasting. Well done for making it to the end. Hopefully you found these three weeks to be really encouraging times where you've been better able to tune in to the voice of Jesus. I know personally I've uh, really felt the benefit of it. My encouragement on this last day would be now that we've enjoyed these 21 days and hopefully heard God speak afresh uh, wouldn't it be good if we could make this a part of our regular everyday life so rather than just do this maybe twice a year when we have 21 days of prayer and fasting as a church but actually we make it a part of our regular routine we prioritize regularly getting time to spend in the word of God and hear the voice of God and I've got some simple suggestions of easy ways to help us do this because I know sometimes it can be difficult in in a challenging life and a busy family life, busy work environment. One of the things that we found really helpful, helpful is a simple app called Lectio 365. That's Lectio 365. You can download it on your phone and they have a daily devotion that takes about 10 minutes to read. It's really simple, really easy. You can read it on the go, on the tube um, or uh, as you're walking back from the school run, something like that, as long as you don't uh, bump into any lampposts or something like that so you keep an eye on where you're going. Um, the other alternative to reading it is you can actually just listen to it and hear someone uh, read it to you. It's a really simple but very good daily devotion that we would heartily recommend. Um, if you want a daily reading plan for the Bible, which is another good thing, then you can get that on the Bible app. Um, there's a whole load of uh, regular reading plans that you could do. I would really recommend those because I think they're great. And I think if we spend some time every day in the word of God, then not surprisingly, maybe we hear God speak to us. Second thing I would really encourage you to think about is the whole principle of Sabbath. We spoke over the summer season uh, from Psalm 23, he restores my soul. And God's written um, rhythms into creation. One of those patterns is the rhythm of Sabbath. And every uh, seven days, every week, there was meant to be for Israel a day of Sabbath, a day of rest and reflection and recharging in the presence of God. And I think it would really help us in today's contemporary society to uh, reinstitute that practice. So I think a really good thing would be to look at your weekly rhythm and to think, can I have a day or even a few hours that I would call my Sabbath time, time that I can uh, create some space and some quiet, time that I can worship Jesus, times that I can spend uh, reading a, a, maybe a good Christian book or reading the Bible as well or listening to some talks. But then regularly put it in your diary, because if you regularly put it in your diary, it doesn't get squeezed out by other things. I think it's so easy to kind of put our God time around everything else when really what we should be doing is put our God time, our Jesus time first and then let everything else follow through. So I would say if there's a simple, regular daily devotion you could do, that would be really helpful. If there's a practice of Sabbath or a way of starting to uh, put that into your weekly routine, that would be also really good to do. My other suggestion would be every couple of months and I know it's been hard over this uh, last season to get any time away but every couple of months why not look in your diary to see whether you could set aside a longer piece of time to spend with Jesus when I say a longer piece of time I'm, I'm meaning maybe a morning or an afternoon or a day and maybe borrow somebody else's house or find somewhere else that you can go just for the day, but just to escape and leave behind some of the other things so that once more you get the opportunity to spend time with Jesus and to hear his voice. One of my favourite uh, psalms is Psalm 119. It's the longest psalm in the Bible. It's got some great verses in it about the word of God. But one of those, verse 105, says, it says your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. And once we hear the voice of God, it has the ability to show us our next step in life, but also to direct our paths in the direction God wants to lead us. May God bless you. I hope these 21 days have been really good and encouraging. I'll see many of you hopefully later at the uh, service at Davenant. If not, then do please catch up later or watch it on the live stream and hear some of the things that God's been speaking to us at, uh, over Restore as a whole for this season. God bless you. I'll see you again soon.